Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, I've been experimenting with vertical drainage using milk crates as soakaways and catch basins connecting to that. And it's working pretty good. But today we're going to try another test. Take a look. Tell me what you think. So the other day I was at Lowe's and I found a piece of 12 inch culvert pipe that was just laying there. And then I saw that they had this catch basin grate on sale for five bucks. And look at that, it fits perfectly inside there. This is a great experiment for our vertical drainage. Let's go ahead and dig this area out, fill it with gravel, and let it rain, see what it does. So here's the area that floods. You can see it's about, what, two inches deep by six or eight feet wide. Pretty good area that really just holds water for days and days. If you have an area that holds water and you can't put a drain in out to the street, a French drain or catch basins or a sump pump, vertical drainage may be the answer. Let's take a look at this and see how cost effective and easy it is to do. So the first thing we need to do is dig a hole that's large enough to put that culvert pipe down in. That culvert pipe's about 18 inches deep, so we'll go about 24 inches deep. You can also use the post hole diggers. They work really well to dig down through hard soil. In fact, they may work better than the shovel. It's best to put your dirt into the wheelbarrow. That way it's easy to haul away. You could lay it out on plastic, but we're putting in the barrel and just haul it away when we're done. Now that we have our hole dug, we can take an old piece of geofabric and just stretch it across the hole. Then we take our culvert pipe. Now remember, we went ahead and perforated that culvert. We drilled holes all the way around so that water could escape as it rains. Next, pour some gravel around the outside of your drain. This will allow the water to escape through the holes we drilled into the ground and be carried away. Vertical drainage. This is much more cost effective than putting in a French drain or catch basin. Vertical drainage allows that water to go down into the ground and soak away. As I researched all these videos from Finland, I noticed that what they're really doing is they're transferring the flood that's on top of the ground down underground. By giving it a chamber with lots of gravel, they're transferring that flood down underground. This allows the water to be soaked up by the subsurface soil. But the real question is, does it work? Now I've made a couple of videos showing how it works on a smaller area. This is a fairly large flood. So let's see what this really does just after a good rainfall. We'll find out. Like I said, this is a really cost effective way to remove water. All of those videos I watched from Finland and other places, they didn't show results. So watch to the end to see the results. Okay, got our gravel poured around the outside. It's all encased in the fabric. Remember, we perforated the culvert pipe, drilled holes in it. Go ahead and tuck your fabric in. You can see how I tucked it around the sides there. Then we're going to put our sod. My sod is not very strong, so. I kind of have to piece it together to put it around there. But that's not a problem. It's still going to grow back around that area without any worries at all. So we piece it together, push it down in, make it tight. We're ready to test the system. Okay, we're ready for it to rain. See how well this vertical drain works. So we just had a pretty good rainfall. I'm going to try to zoom in here so you can kind of see it. But yeah, it's still a little bit spongy. As you can see, you can see that water bit right there. It's still a little bit holding water, but that's going to disappear pretty quick. Vertical drainage. This is a project that you can easily do yourself and truly save a great deal of money. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.